My name is Claire Peltier. I graduated in 2014 with a double major in nonfiction writing and communications. I'm currently an associate editor at aplus.com. My story about finding Pitt was kind of weird. I didn't really know much about the school at all. I had my heart set on some other schools, but I knew I wanted to go to a city school and I knew I wanted there to be some sort of team spirit. I didn't want to be isolated in a big city. And my dad recommended that I look at Pitt. We did. And ever since then, I was set on going to Pitt. My freshman year, I joined her campus pit. At the time, it had a very small team of just a couple writers and a founder. So I joined as a writer, and then by the time I was a junior, I was running it, a co-campus correspondent with another girl. After I graduated Pitt, I ended up taking an internship. I learned a lot there, and I ended up getting hired full-time as a writer. And then um, through some networking, some people that I knew, some Pitt alumni actually, A Plus was brand spanking new when I found out about it. We are a positive journalism website. We provide everything from news to arts and entertainment to fashion and lifestyle, but everything has a positive message to it. We really believe that people can do good if they have the right resources, so we really try to find those stories that make you feel good and help you do good. I am an associate editor. That here means I'm a writer. Um, that's my first and foremost responsibility. Um, I also run my own series, a video series called Clarity, and then I'm also in charge of our Instagram account and our Snapchat account. A lot of the stuff that I post on our Instagram account has something to do with the articles that we're writing or the people that we're covering. And there also is that kind of reporting aspect to posting on Instagram or Snapchat. I wear a lot of hats, but I think that's the nature of a startup. We're all kind of like a family. I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but you know we're really building something together, um, which is great because as as opportunities arise, um, the more you want to do, the more you can do. Especially as a fashion writer, I cover a lot of brands. I'm constantly doing research. So for me, maintaining relationships with people that I meet at conferences or events and stuff like that is really important because it helps me find products or brands that I really want to cover. I think my career highlight to date is launching Clarity. It's a series where I present our viewers with products from fashion or beauty brands that I really believe in. So these brands have a positive benefit on either the user or the environment or the world. You know, whether they are giving back to charity or they are sustainable and eco-friendly and helping our planet or they make the user feel really good about themselves. That's been really important to me because I think a lot of these brands that are doing these things aren't necessarily getting that platform. I think um, in the fashion writing space, a lot of people are covering the trends and not really the stories behind the brands. It's really scary when you graduate and you can't find a job, especially in a creative field, it's difficult. Like I said, I took an internship, which was not exactly what I wanted, but it ended up being a really great opportunity for me to learn a lot, um, get my feet in the door, kind of test the waters, um, and be in New York, which is where I wanted to be. But I think one of the most important things to do is stay connected on LinkedIn, stay connected via email, hand out business cards, and connect on Facebook. I mean, there's so many platforms either, even within Facebook to stay connected on besides, you know, stalking people and being their friends, which does work. But I think that, you know, the connection that all of us Pitt students have, especially in big cities, is really great. And I think utilizing that is ideal.